Welcome to another episode of Netflix Movie Reviews with me, your host, Felix Fingers. Today we have a fantastic doozy. Yes, we do. This one is called Swept Under, and it has to do with a, a crime scene cleaner who finds a, 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 an overlooked clue and teams up with a rookie detective in order to find who the suspect is. Now, it sounds like a regular uh, crime uh, film, but no. The thing which surprised me, and I love movies that are written this well because you never expect the outcome to be what it is because that's not the path you were taking when you started watching this movie. So totally when that twist comes about and it's like, wow, it, fantastic. I did not expect for this cleaner to turn out the way she did in helping the rookie uh, detective find out who the real suspect was. Um, it has to do with, of course, murders, you know, killings, and, and they have this detective trying to find out who this killer is, who's going around killing people in the same manner, more or less. It's like a serial killer type thing, but there's something that is brought to the table from the cleaning service woman. Yeah, it's a woman. She's the one that actually does this. I thought it was just amazing. No one else wanted to listen to her when she said, listen, I found a clue at the crime scene and maybe it'll help out your investigation. They did not want to hear it. They're like, really? You're, you clean. How would you know what anything is about anything? But the rookie cop overheard the conversation when the other detectives were turning her away and he took a, ch a, ch a chance on her and said, you know what? What is it that you found? Talk to me. What is it that you think? And she started telling him what she feels might have happened because she's been in, involved in so many crime scenes throughout her you know, career, cleaning them and hearing how things turn out, whatever. She has ideas of what may have happened. Um, and that new rookie detective actually pays attention. And together, I mean, yeah, as a team, they are incredible, especially with what they find out about the serial killer and who it is and what the outcome is of this movie in general. It was fantastic, one I definitely recommend. I, I did bypass it uh, a couple of times because it's uh, fairly, I wouldn't say fairly new, well, not that old either. Uh, when I first watched it, it was the end of last year, so 2015. So you figured about two years now coming. Um, but it's definitely worth the watch it's not that long so you're not gonna kill two hours or two and a half or nothing like that it's only 91 minutes so about an hour and a half or so it's not too bad but definitely something i recommend and it's something i haven't done in a while uh because of the new year and the holidays and such um but i'm back and i'm recommending this one and i'm giving it personally five stars uh like i said before on netflix you can rate these movies and this is worth the five star this was fantastic i didn't expect it to be good because Remember the titles. I go with titles and I'm like, eh, really? Skip. But I took a chance on this. Um, and it was definitely well worth it. So no one in particular that you may know. So you know me. I don't drop names if they're no one that you're going to be like, oh, I know who that. No, I'm not even going to bother with that. But I will recommend this for you uh, to check out. You're going to appreciate it. It's called Swept Under on Netflix now. Until next time, keep flixing and peace.